Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Get Play Soon and welcome to the episode number 3 of this series Random Interview Question Series. So in this episode number 3 we are going to cover the interview questions what is cache memory how it works what is cache coherency So without any further delay let's get started First understanding what is cache memory Cache memory as you can see here is a small high speed memory it's a small and high speed memory that sits between the cpu and main memory okay now but what is the use of this small and high speed memory so the primary purpose of this cache memory is to store frequently accessed data and instructions providing faster access compared to accessing from the ram so if there are files which you use frequently then instead of taking it every day from ram you can take it from the cache right so this is the purpose of cache memory to provide faster access now let's see how it works so you know that when the cpu needs to read or write data or if it needs to access any file it first check if the data is present in the cache memory right if the data is found in the cache it is known as cache hit now in the case of cache hit the cpu can access directly quickly from the cache right without needing to take it from the main memory ram now what if the data is not present in the cache it is known as cache miss now in the concept of cache miss in this case the cpu has to fetch data from the main memory and take it from the main memory now while taking it for the main memory it stores a copy and places it into the cache memory for the future access okay two things first it will send to the cpu for its access In the second one, it also stores a copy in the cache memory. Now, so whenever a new file comes to the cache, has to be brought into the cache. So, how to say which files has to be kept in cache, which files has to be removed from cache, which are the frequently used, everything. So, to take care of everything, we have the cache management algorithms. So, for example, least frequently used algorithm that is LRU, least frequently used algorithm that is LFU. so these are the algorithms based on this algorithms it can determine which data should be kept in the cache which data should be evicted from the cache whenever a new file is entered to the cache right this is how cache works and this is how cache is maintained now there are different levels in cache right so the cache memory is organized in a hierarchy based on its speed and size so the cache closest to the cpu as you can see from the cpu the cache closest to the cpu is known as l1 cache followed by l2 cache followed by l3 cache it may or may not have different i mean extra levels also so the l1 cache which is closest to the cpu is the fastest and the smallest and as you know l2 is the middle and comparing l1 with l3 l3 is the larger when compared to l1 but slower when compared to l1 and l2 is the middle right so this hierarchy allows the trade off between speed and capacity this is how cache levels are stored cache files are stored in these levels based on the frequency how frequent you use the files right going ahead let's understand the cache coherence problem this is a very common problem very important problem also first let's read the cache coherence problem is a challenge of maintaining consistency among multiple copies of shared data stored in different caches within a computer system so let me explain there are so many terms here first we are talking about shared data multiple copies of shared data and which are stored in different caches okay and we are supposed to maintain consistency oh it's a lot of terminology let me explain simply now consider in a multi processor scenario which means multiple process means multiple cpus for example say cpu1 cpu2 and cpu3 now as you saw here it is a shared data which means all the cpu1 cpu2 and cpu3 are using the same memory and we talked about different caches and we talked about different caches so cpu1 has cache1 cpu2 has cache2 cpu3 has cache3 all the cpus are using the same memory they have their respect to caches now cache coherency problem means for example if one processes let's say cpu one process modify data without informing other process for example the cpu one modifies the data in the cache one without informing cache two cache three and without informing the main memory now what happens it leads to inconsistencies which leads to incorrect results right 
so whenever there is an update whenever there is a modification then it has to be changed in all the caches cache 1 cache 2 cache 3 and the main memory if it is not changed there will be incorrect results whenever an operation is done so this is a very big problem to solve this problem there are particular protocols and particular mechanisms that can keep all the caches up to date all the memory and the caches up to date in the shared data scenario so this is known as cache coherence problems now i will read the first para now i'm sure you will understand the cache coherence problem is a challenge of maintaining consistency when i say consistency it means all the caches and the memory should have the same value same files right maintaining consistency among multiple copies which means multiple caches of shared data stored in different caches within a computer system so this is known as cache coherence problems going ahead cache coherency cache coherency ensures that all the cache copies of particular memory are kept consistent so cache 1 cache 2 cache 3 are consistent if any cpu modifies or updates anything even though after updation also if all the caches are consistent it has updated in every cache everything is having same data if that is ensured that property is known as cache coherency this involves maintaining cache coherence protocols which handles data updates data modifications which handles invalidations across different caches so if all the caches are having the same data if all the caches are consistent that property is known as cache coherency the problem of maintaining it is known as cache coherence problem so this is it for this episode i hope you understood i hope you liked this episode if you liked it make sure you like it make sure you share it with your friends please subscribe to our channel get place soon if you have any doubts make sure you comment below so thank you so much for watching till the end bye bye